Bitch, <laughs> don't fry in the kitchen. Bitch, don't burn on the grill. Is that McGregor or George Jefferson? Colin McGregor, man. I feel okay. like Colin. Colin ain't back with you. Hey, you need to get that, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll tell you, he classic. That's for sure. Put the bill. Pugilism Company, Reed, BBS. Here with Earl Spence, the IBF welterweight champion of the world. 24 0, 21 KO. What's going on, EJ? Not much, man. So, have you gained respect for Mikey moving up to fight you, or have you lost respect for your fellow welterweights that a smaller dude had to come up to actually accept the challenge? Nah, respect's always been the same across the board. Uh, I ain't lose respect for any, any welterweights. I mean, it's probably one I don't like. I don't lose respect for any other welterweights. And, Mikey, I mean, I gained a little bit of respect for him, but, you know, the respect, I always stay the same. You don't feel like he pulled their card just a little bit? Uh, nah, I mean, he really he moved up, making his highest payday. I'm making my highest payday, and, um, you know, he's daring to be great. So I don't think it had anything to do with the other welterweights. You know, it's just him, you know, doing something that, you know, nobody's doing right now. From a competitive standpoint, does it – slightly irk or irritate you that a smaller dude feels like he can just move up and take what you work for? Well, nah, I mean, you know, I you know, I, re I respect his, his arrogance because, you know, he's moving up and, uh, you know, it's a fight that he wanted. So, um, you know, I'm not sitting on the sideline either. You know, I'm not, you know, fighting somebody that, you know, maybe a name, not a name known guy or I'm not fighting another champion. You know, I'm fighting, you know, somebody who's just a great Mikey Garcia if he took this fight, you know. Uh, Sean Porter already had, you know, Ugas, he took his mandatory, so I couldn't fight him. And Keith Thurman needed, you know, some tune-ups. And um, so it's a lot of guys that, you know, I couldn't fight at the moment. So Mikey Garcia took the fight. I didn't know who I was going to fight, you know, before I got the call for Mikey Garcia. So, I mean, it's kind of, you know, he helped me out too. So, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that he moved up. Did it take a while for you to really believe he wanted it? Because a lot of people thought he was just selling wolf tickets, using your name to build himself. Did it take a while for it to set in? Like, okay, this is really going to happen. Nah, I mean, you know me, I don't really think about stuff too much. So, I mean, when he first called me out, I was just like, oh, okay. And then uh, the second time he called me out, you know, I kind of, I already, the Rob used to fight, I already kind of knew he was going to fight if he had won. My manager had gave me a heads up on it, saying that Mikey Garcia wanted to fight, so I kind of knew it was already going to happen. Is the fact that they only, they or him only harp on your size edge, is that kind of disrespectful to your skill set? Oh, I, I don't care. You know, I, you know, I, I hope that they only just playing in on that factor of my size. So if that's how they playing in on. Then that's great. Couple more questions. So, given Dallas is large. Latino fan base. Are you prepared for the fact that you're the hometown guy and may not even get the loudest reception or possibly even get booed? I went to England and got booed. It don't matter. It don't matter. I'm glad that I go anywhere. So it really don't matter if I get booed. You know, I'm hoping. You know, they cheer me on just because it's my hometown. But it don't matter. Once I get in there, you know, the arena's quiet. I don't hear anybody. From my recollection, my I recall you fighting at the Dallas Golden Gloves. Yeah. And kind of the same thing would happen. So yeah. is, it, is it old hat basically for you? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, it, it doesn't matter. Once I get in the range, it's me and him. So, you know, once I'm in the ring, everything is blocked out anyway. So I'm not thinking anything else but the kill. So is getting the W enough, or are you trying to make like a stay in your lane type of statement? I'm not a stay in your lane type of statement. I'm just making a, you know, I'm that dude type of statement. So, you know, I don't care about the whole stay in your lane thing. I hope some more guys do move up so, you know, I can fight them and make great paydays and, and have a great event like this. I don't think, you know, I could have, you know, done Fox pay-per-view at the Cowboys Stadium fighting Sean Porter. You know, we probably would have fought at the Barclays Center. I don't think I would have made it if I keep Keith Thurman. We probably fought at the Barclays Center too, so. 
I mean, Mikey Garcia, you know, perfect opponent. Like I said, it took both of us to make this fight happen on Fox pay-per-view. And at the Cowboys Stadium with a big venue like this, you know, I wouldn't so I don't think me and Sean Porter, me and Keith Thurman would have sold out fighting here. So the only opponent uh, to that would be Pacquiao. So uh, Mikey Garcia was a perfect opponent at the right time to make this thing happen right here at the AT&T Stadium. Final question, what type of W would satisfy you to make that I'm still that dude statement that you mentioned? It's a spectacular win like I've been doing. Like, you know me, you watch my fights, you know either, you know, I either get the stoppage or, you know, I just beat my opponent up. So, you know, I just want a spectacular one-sided, you know, either beating or a spectacular one-sided knockout. Are you most looking forward to him tasting your head shots or your body shots? It don't matter. I'm a, I'm gonna try to I'm a, I'm gonna land wherever it's open. <laughs> so it really doesn't matter if it's body or head. You know, whatever lands and whatever counts. So I, mean, I feel like I can hurt anybody to the head or the body. So I mean, a guy like me, you know, if you watch my style, I'm not a guy that you know just you know pick one area. I really hit guys everywhere. So you know, I'm not worried about that. All right, I appreciate your time and your turtleneck. Thank, Thank you, man. <laughs>